Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeReview.com. I want to thank SpeedCube Shop for helping make this review possible. Stop by the store if you use discount code CUBEREVIEW for a full 20% off your order. The YJ Guanlong came out about a year ago and it immediately became the cube to get as it's cheap and fairly good. I remember how surprised people were at the quality of this cube even though it was a quarter of the cost of other cubes. Multiple companies are now even reboxing it and selling it at higher costs. I prefer to solve with this cube for a while and still like to pick it up because of the light turning style. It does not have the best corner cutting and it can corner twist. It is nowhere near as good as more expensive cubes on the market. There might finally be a competitor though. Yushin just released the fire and it's just about a dollar more than the Guanlong, but still around ten dollars less than other cubes on the market. The biggest difference you can see is that it can be made stickerless. The Guanlong corner pieces are only made of two sections, so it can only be made with stickers. Out of the box, the Yushin is very slow. The pieces have a lot of contact on each other, and since the plastic is so light, the pieces feel quite sluggish. I did have a corner twist on the very first solve, and the tensions were still pretty tight. The corner cutting also leaves much to be desired. I was not happy when I first used this cube. I spent a lot of time setting it up, tensioning it, lubed the core in pieces, and did a few hundred solves. Once doing that, the cube still felt pretty poor. They are both very similar in weight, just under 70 grams, about 10 grams less than many standard cubes. It matches the corner cutting and the corner twisting of the Guanlong, as well as the light cheap feel, but it's so difficult to get decent times out of it, I feel that although the fire is a fine cube for beginners, it would need to be replaced with a better cube in the future. The Guanlong seems to be able to hold its own as a fast and controllable cube and still be able to get very fast times. Now if you had to choose between them, I would say the Guanlong is the better choice. But if you want a super cheap sticker list, the fire would have to be the one you choose. <laughs> So I was about to publish this video, and I got a package in the mail. It was the Cubic Alfu that I ordered a few months ago from the Cubicle, and they added this cube with it. It turns out it's a stickerless Guanlong. I didn't even know that this was being shipped to me, and I didn't even know this existed. But I guess the Guanlong is going to have corner pieces that are three parts, which will be able to be made stickerless. It feels and moves the exact same as my other Guanlong. Now I don't know when this is going to be available for order, but looks like if you want a really cheap and stickerless cube, you can still get a Guanlong. Now, back to the review. The cubes are only a few dollars cheaper than the cubes like the Thunderclap, which is overall a better quality. It still has a cheap feel to it, but the structure is much more advanced. There is not one answer, but I feel that the difference between an economic choice or a cube of much better quality is only a few bucks difference. I know which one I would choose. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.